Hey everyone, in this video, I will be sharing what I do as a freelance data engineer. I will be sharing my entire freelance experience and different types of projects I have worked on and have been working on till now. Before starting my freelance journey, I first listed down all the skills that I knew as I wanted to find work related to my skills. So I listed down all the skills that I had. After listing my skills, I started researching skills that were high in demand. So I signed up on different freelancing websites such as Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer.com and started entering my skills in the search box to see what kind of work is available there and what are the different problems people are facing. While doing this exercise, I found that some skills that I had and some of the skills that I didn't know so I had to learn it just to make the proposal for that particular problem. Once I found that I started applying proposal on different jobs available and started learning skills on the site. The important factor here was I used to spend time understanding client problems and research it. One of the biggest mistake people make on freelancing platform is that they focus on the quantity of proposal they submit, not the quality. So they think that if I submit 20 proposal in a day, then I will get more chances to get a job. But it's not as easy as it looks. With you, there are many people who are trying to apply for the same job. And if you just write copy pasted template on different jobs, then there is very little chance that you will get reply from the client. So the first thing I do is try to understand the client's requirement and then try to give them multiple solutions so that I can get reply on the first place. So once I'm done with my research, then I go and write the proposal and submit it. Now I'm going to make detailed video on how to write proposal in my future videos. But in this video, I want to mainly focus on the process that I follow and have been following till now. Once I get a reply from client, then I get on a call with him and give him detailed solution and talk about how I can help him to solve his problem. So once I get the project, then I start working on that. Now I'm going to talk about different types of projects I have been working as a freelance data engineer so that you guys can get an idea about what to expect from these freelancing websites. I will also talk about skills required in each project. So make sure you pay your attention to that. And if you want to write it down, then grab a notebook and start writing it in case if you need that in future. Number one project I got was on web scraping. Now this is not a core data engineering project, but as this was my first freelance project, I took it to display something on my profile. What was the problem here? The client had millions of HTML files on Google storage and he wanted to extract some of the data from HTML file and store it in the PostgreSQL database. These are different skills that were required, knowing basic HTML tags, Python with different libraries such as Beautiful Soup, regular expression, Google Cloud Storage Library, understanding PostgreSQL to insert data, basics about Google Cloud services such as storage, Cloud SQL and APIs. Second project I got was about building data infrastructure PPT and solution. The problem here was client wanted some hypothetical use case in e-commerce domain and wanted a scalable solution for it. This project was not about implementation but just building some solution. These type of projects you might get when companies are thinking to go on the cloud. Again, I was beginner and I took this project because I wanted to build my profile. It took me one week and many revisions suggested by client to make the final PPT. Skills required here was understanding e-commerce domain that you can Google it and learn it. Knowledge about any cloud platform, I chose AWS and knowing how to build architectures. My third project was on writing ETL job. This was my first proper data engineering project. Here the client has some data stored in S3 and wanted some ETL on top of it so that he can query the final data. The client provided me raw data and how the final output should look in the file so I just had to write a script to convert that raw data into final output. Skills required here was basic services on AWS because client was using AWS already. So services such as S3, Glue for ETL, Athena for query and understanding about PySpark. PySpark is basically top level Python API to write Spark jobs. Fourth project I got was as a mentor. So there was a guy who needed some help in building data engineering project and he was completely new to data engineering domain. So he hired me and I helped him to build his project end to end. So he wanted to learn new things. So basically this happens most of the time on freelancing platform. People want to learn from experts rather than doing courses because they can get one to one interaction and they can easily solve their doubts. So that was basically my fourth project. Also guys, I'm going to start data engineering and freelancing mentorship program soon. So you can 
follow me on instagram or join the discord channel for more updates fifth project was on the list was building data pipeline and dashboard this project was quite big and took me two to three months to complete the problem here was the client had some data coming from marketing channel as he was running some ads for product and he wanted to build a pipeline from relational database to redshift so that he can analyze the final data on dashboard this was the first data engineering project and skills needed were simple. I first had to learn about how to extract data from those ads channels, then put it in the database, then client was using AWS Cloud. So I used services such as Redshift, Lambda, S3, CloudWatch, VPC, etc. Now I didn't know everything when I got this project. So I had to learn some of the skills that I didn't know, such as extracting data from different ad channels and integrating those APIs. So this is the process uh, you usually fall into in the freelancing that some of the skills you already know and some of the skills you need to be a little bit creative in order to find out the solution and you will learn about this as you work on different projects and as you learn more and more skills. I've also started project series on my channel related to projects I've done so you can check my channel to learn more about it. These projects are basically from building relational databases then writing ETL jobs and building final data warehouse so that you can visualize your some data and get insights. So these were the first five projects I got in my freelance journey and that helped me to become a full-time freelancer. Now this was not all the data engineering project but you have to start from somewhere and if you are a beginner then you have to take whatever you get and start working on it so that you can build your profile and get more projects in future. I will also make detailed videos on some of the projects I am currently working on so that you guys can get more idea about what are the different data engineering projects and also if you are new to data engineering then you can check this roadmaps and project series to understand more about it. Thank you.